ladies and gentlemen, the avocados are now just sitting there to rot. Admin immigration crackdown, this avocado farmer is struggling to find workers. You know, so much for pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and just rolling your sleeves up and getting a hard day's work in. Instead of doing that, they are relying on others to save their farms. Instead of gathering your friends, your family, and whoever else you can grab to save your avocados. See, the illegals are no longer showing up on farms around America because they are in fear of ice. So there's a lot of crops, ladies and gentlemen, I still need to drive this home, that are rotting. And these high IQ people are not saving their own farms. So let's go ahead and listen to this video that came out on CNN Money. I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Double down on adventure with the City Advantage Platinum Select Card. With more ways to earn two times miles, you can double down when you dine at restaurants and when you fill up. Explore all the ways to earn double miles at city.com slash adventure. This fruit is in the sweet spot. Rick Shade is a fifth generation California farmer. All these trees that you see around us, are, I actually planted myself or with my crew, and uh, so some are, are over 20 years old. Now the 57-year-old manages roughly 20 avocado groves around the state. I carry a postal scale in my pickup so we can measure the fruit just to keep make sure the guys are on. And a skilled crew, they're better than 90% on. But these days, skilled labor is harder to find. Decades of inconsistent immigration policies, coupled with increased danger and fear of crossing the border, has created a labor shortage for California farmers. We don't have a lot of young people coming in. Many of the harvesters, I can remember when I was just a teenager, and they're still harvesting. Causing many across the country to race to mechanize. Agriculture technology is now a multi-billion dollar industry. But Shade says mechanization isn't an option for some crops, including avocados. Every avocado has to be clipped from the tree by hand. While farmers hope for a solution. In the past, there have been guest worker programs. I have spoken to folks in Mexico who would love to continue with that type of program. They'll come here and work for a season and know that they'll be here for three or four or five months, maybe six months, and go back home to their families. Experts say the growing problem isn't likely to be fixed anytime soon. The labor problem in agriculture has been with us for a while. Labor demand in farming goes up as the harvest season gets closer and closer. And it will be a problem this year. Uh, people are working at trying to fix it, but uh, so far that hasn't happened. It's really our elected representatives in Congress that are supposed to deal with this issue. I don't care which side of the aisle you sit on. Everybody is let fall drop. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, they are depending the on Congress to push legislation. They are depending on people to help them get this stuff picked from the trees by hand. And these are the same people saying that they supervise. I don't understand why the supervisors can't get out there and get all of this done. You know why? Because, see, those are the lazy ones. They want to just be sitting behind a desk pushing pens and papers and claiming they are supervising. And the ones that are out there doing the actual work, they're really the ones that are making that farm work. It is not the paper pushers that are sitting around running their mouth in their useless direction that they usually give the workers.
Those workers can work just fine without them. And they do. If supervising was such an important job, then there should be no stoppage in the work. The work should be able to flow just easy. Get your supervising ass out there and do the work. But see, as soon as the immigrants disappear, ladies and gentlemen, their farms dry up. I want you to pull up all the articles of all of the rotted crops in America because of the immigration crackdown. And as you can see, the avocado industry has not been spared. These are the offspring of the ones that claim they did the actual work and the slaves were lazy. No such thing. The lazy ones are the ones that are trying to sit away from the sun because they can't take the sun and claim they are supervising. That's your lazy one right there. But the ones breaking their backs every day in those fields, those are your hard workers. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will be doing these stories more often on these rotted crops in America, just to show you that without the melanated people, work simply don't get done. Peace, family.